Hi everyone, welcome. Are you looking for a MacBook, a 13 inch like this one, but you don't have a thousand dollars to burn? Maybe this is an option to consider. In front of me is a 13 inch MacBook Air from mid 2011. I bought this one for 299 euros and let's see what you get when you spend this kind of money. First we have the MagSafe connector for charging your device. Next to that we have a USB 2.0 connection, a mini jack headphone out connection and the microphone. If we move to the other side we have a Thunderbolt connection, uh, also suitable as a mini display port uh, connector for connecting LCD screens and that kind of stuff. A USB 2.0 connection, so the second one and a SD card reader. And those are all the connections you get on a MacBook Air. If we open up the device, we see the webcam. Uh, it's the standard definition webcam. Uh, these days they are equipped with uh, an HD webcam. This one hasn't, it's just a standard one. And the screen, the 13 inch with a resolution of 1440 by 900 pixels. A standard q keyboard and also Apple's famous trackpad, which works absolutely fine. You don't need a mouse with these devices. It gets the job done easily. The hardware of this MacBook is an Intel Core i5 2nd gen a CPU, 2GB of DDR3 RAM and a 64GB SSD, which is proprietary uh, connection uh, Apple uses in these devices. The RAM is actually soldered on the logic board, so there's no way of replacing that. I saw a couple of videos where some people tried to solder the RAM on there and they got it to work, but that's really a tough job. So, so yeah, no option for uh, upgrading the RAM on this device. And the SSD, uh, actually you can upgrade with a larger capacity one. Uh, so if you need more storage, you can do that. So with all these specs aside, um, standard it came with Mac OS X and Mountain Lion. And I've installed uh, Sierra on there. And after last Monday when High Sierra was released, I installed High Sierra on there. So let's do a cold boot and see how fast it actually boots up. And I must say, two gigabytes of RAM doesn't seem like much. And really, it isn't. And it was exactly what I was thinking, but after working a couple of weeks with this device, I never had the intention I needed more RAM with this machine. And it's booted up. And there we have macOS Hi Sierra. I don't know if you can actually see this, but it says macOS Hi Sierra version 10.13, which is the latest version for now. Well, let's see how YouTube plays. Let's get a YouTube video here. Okay. And here we have a triple A movie. It's me. So this actually plays at 1080p with 60 FPS and it runs very, very smooth. So I don't know if it's the, if it's the CPU that's the bottleneck or it's just a connectivity issue, but playing 4K content uh, or anything for that matter above 1080p is, uh, is laggy as hell doesn't play smooth and it's unwatchable. The 1080p works perfectly fine on this. So if you want to watch Netflix, uh, YouTube, no problem at all. Plays very smooth. Uh, also, I've installed uh, an equalizer app uh, just to fine tune the sound a little bit better. The standard sound of the MacBook, I must say, it's, it's fine. It's not enough for throwing a party, but it will get the job done. And with the equalizer software, you can get a, a little bit richer volume uh, out of it, out of the speakers. And in combination with the screen and the smooth playback, um, yeah, watching Netflix on this is, is going really well. Yeah. Um, what about office work? Uh, as I said, I've used this for the last uh, couple of weeks. It did some, uh, did some office work on there um, with the package of LibreOffice and also that was working uh, as it should. I connected to the server on, on my office and 
no problems whatsoever. The printer, same thing, uh, network printers. Uh, one thing I noticed with the Mac OS High Sierra is uh, it, last week it actually froze for, for one time. Uh, only the mouse pointer was uh, was movable, uh, the dock, everything else was stuck as it was. And the only option I had was to power down the device, give it a fresh reboot. The reboot also took about five minutes to boot. So there was something going definitely wrong. But after that, it worked like nothing had happened. So uh, that was the only thing I ran into an issue with the Mac OS High Sierra. So 1080p video playback, for sure, not a problem for this one. Also, everything you do works really well. It's a little bit hard to control the machine this way, but... Everything you open just a click away. And I was really thinking a two gigabytes of RAM would bottleneck this device, but with all the things I normally have open with this machine, the browser, the LibreOffice package, the network shares, YouTube, and it still has like 200 or 300 megabytes of RAM left. And the CPU is operating at about 10% normally. And the SSD uh, does, well, maybe we could do a SSD test. Okay, so I got the Blackmagic disk speed test on there. And let's open it up and we'll just hit start and let's see how this SSD performs. As I said, it's a, um, it's not a PCI Express SSD, so I don't expect much. Definitely not for six years ago when this Apple was made, this MacBook. So we get write speeds at this moment at 159 megabytes a second. And I have read speeds here of 204 megabytes a second. Okay, so now it's getting 170 MB a second for write. And 210, 11 megabytes a second read. For sure, not the fastest SSD money can buy, but it will definitely get the job done. It only has a 64 gigabyte SSD, as I said. I'm not going to fill all the storage all the things I have are stored on my NAS system. So for me, that's not going to be a problem. If you need more capacity, you can always upgrade this one with a larger capacity SSD. Okay, so with all these specs in this little package, which weighs 1.35 kilograms, it's actually, yeah, as Apple calls it, an air. Um, very, very portable. Also, very fast, especially for the age it has. Very suitable for multimedia content. Uh, also do some light work. This is definitely not the machine uh, to use for Photoshop, uh, video editing, uh, gaming, all that kind of stuff. But for all the other tasks, it works just really well. So, okay, so that's this MacBook Air. I will do another video, uh, a comparison, a showdown video with this MacBook and one from this year, 2017. And in that video, it will come clear what the performance difference between the two is. So that one is coming up. For now, I will leave it at this. If you have any comments, suggestions, maybe some advice, please leave them in the comment section. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next one. Bye. Oh.